Hello and welcome to ITN. So I hope you guys are uh, watching uh, those sessions which have been recorded earlier and you were able to get along nicely, right? Um, till now we have covered quite a bit, right? Uh, we, we started off with um, the basics. We started off uh, later on. We actually uh, checked out how to install Python on Windows Linux machine. How then uh, we actually started with some operators and then uh, we we actually did some um, control statements uh, such as uh, uh, if elif else statement and then we covered a uh, for loop and now in this session we are going to talk about while loop right so uh, we'll talk about while loop we'll also see some of the examples of while loop okay uh, great uh, and end of the session i'll give you a homework right okay thank you have a nice time and I'll see you in the same class. Yeah, thank you. Welcome back to iTunes. So let's start with our session for this uh, for this one. Uh, that is while loops. Okay. Um, so here we'll uh, discuss about while loop, and I I'll run you through the flowchart. Okay. So while loops. So while loops are used to iterate over a block of code as long as the test expression is true. Okay. So there will be a block of code and it will keep on running this code as long as the expression is true right and body of the while loop will be executed only if the expression is true right after one iteration expression is checked again okay body of the loop continues until the expression evaluates to false okay as soon as it is false it will exit the loop okay body of the while loop is separated from the rest of the code using indentation okay syntax of while loop so it will have a test expression and then a body of while and then exit okay so it will continue this loop will continue unless uh, until unless the output is false okay right uh, let's look at some examples okay so to save time, I've already uh, typed the code here. So this program is to provide some of numbers. Okay. So in this program, what will happen is we will ask uh, a number to the user, and it will keep on adding the number um, to the result of that number, right? So for example, if a user keys in three, then it will add one. It will start with one, and then it will move to next one, uh, two. It will perform one plus two it will come as 3 and then it will go to the next loop uh, for number 3 and then it will perform um, the result of the earlier step that is 3 and then add the new number that is 3 that then the result will be 6 right okay so here is the doc string which we have uh, discussed earlier in the program now let's uh, let me run you through the code okay, okay so I, I notice there is some correction that is required uh, so what I'll do is uh, uh, print a program to print summation of numbers yeah uh, in positive range okay um, so I import sys right uh, we saw that sys is a module and I am using import function to import a sys module right and then we are going to start with sum is equals to zero and uh, the increment i is equals to one right then we are going to ask a user the end number or the uh, last number okay so i'm going to take that input as a in a variable name so it is going to take the number provided by the user uh, and then it's going to convert into int format okay now again this uh, uh, we we are going to run the if loop okay so if lim uh, that is um, the input provided by the user is less than zero then you have to print 
negative range is not allowed okay because we want to consider only the positive range all right and then we are going to exit the system we will not run through this code because if the user inputs the negative number we don't want to run that code okay so we will run the code only if uh, the user inputs a positive number and how we are checking we are checking with the if loop so as soon as uh, this loop is done and we find that okay that number is um, greater than zero or equal to zero then we will run through or uh, greater than zero sorry uh, if the number is greater than zero then we will run the while loop okay? so while i is less than equal to lim okay lim is again the input which is provided by the user yeah? sum is equal to sum plus i all right and i uh, that is um, so for example if the user puts one and um, the lim is um, uh, lim is uh, i mean actually will be one all right so in that case i is also one so sum is equal to sum plus i and sum is zero already here so it is going to be one right and then uh, in case if there is an increment required then it will go um, to the increment here it is i plus equals to one so it will add one more number that is two then i will become two right and then it is again going to check if two is less than equal to lim that is one it will say false and then it will exit out and print this statement now as we had uh, seen in the flowchart the loops are differentiated with indentation so if loop here is the indentation so this is the part of if loop or body of if loop right and this is the body of while loop okay great let's look at the execution of this code by clicking on f5 right it click asks me to save the code i click ok and it, now a uh, python shell will open okay so i input a number say 5 and then hit enter the sum is 5 okay um, we can actually check it out 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is it 15 right so it actually matches the output of our code right all right so in this session we have seen how uh, we can use while loop to get the desired output right um, so all all these loops right we we saw for for loop and now we have seen uh, while loop and earlier we have seen um, if elif else statements right so all these um, are, are actually part of control flow and those all will be required in our programs when we are going to design a complicated program right so uh, again i mean um, if uh, if you find any issues uh, um, then you can actually put your uh, feedback in the comment and um, if, you, if there is any queries uh, i'll get back to you with the answers to the queries okay great um, so as a homework you have to try it out with the various options uh, various uh, things that you can think of right because practice makes will make you perfect right all right um, so that's all for this session uh, guys uh, keep watching and keep learning um, until next time thank you